All right, my name's Adam. I'm Apache, and I'm down here today because I'm representing the natives that are here. Because over the years, we got a lot of um, a land that's ours, but that's been taken away. And we got a lot of people here fighting for jobs and stuff. And I feel like if we could like connect, because I see all these like different people of like ethnic backgrounds come together. I figure if we all come together for one one cause, that it can, uh, it can do something big. I think it could be that um, more more money can be funded to like all the reservations within the um, the whole country and help uh, help native people a lot more and also for more of our um, natives like with more education we could go to like colleges because mostly everybody's going like to the army and stuff you know and for them to have more options you know it'd be, it'd be pretty nice. Yeah, grew up in Oakland, Alameda, Palo Alto, San Francisco, everywhere. <laughs> Yes. Have you been? I've been, uh, I was here last night. What's going on last night? Um, last night they were talking about how they have job openings um, tomorrow in 86 and uh, um, 82nd um, International. They had like logo rappers come in and talk about how they feel about the occupation and talking about how young people could do make a lot, a big impact on the occupation. That's basically what was happening last night. Uh, yes, I do. It's like, I came down here with a whole bunch of natives and um, they went to Chase on 20th to occupy the banks because they feel like like all the um, houses that's been foreclosed, like the houses, like all the money that's been going for the houses went to the banks. So that was, the banks has the money, but then the house, they're, they're gone now, the, the bank's property. So that's where they went and I feel where, where they're coming from. And so I, I definitely feel there's native presence. Yes, my name is Alicia Russell, formerly AK Keo Goodyear from my pa my family's from South Dakota, Standing Rock. I've been here all my life and we're trying to make a statement here. I'm homeless at this minute, but it, does, it shouldn't have to be that way. And that's why I'm over here trying to make a statement because it's not right. It's not right for our people to be out here like this. When they have other people going on, they got jobs, businesses happening and we're out here on the street. I don't think that's right. So that's why I'm down here, making a statement. That's all I can do at this minute in time. Yes, I've been marching. I've been marching and uh, cooking and chopping up vegetables for you know the people. Because the right, Constitution, we are the people. We're making a statement, simple as that. And I'm proud to be here. Lakota, all natives, that's how we do it. <laughs> I'm Ethan Nebelkoff and uh, I've worked at Native American Health Center for 15 years, and uh, this is a hell of a movement. There's a lot of people here. Um, it's very peaceful so far. Anything can happen though when you're on the street. Um, but it's people all walks of life, uh, people of all ethnic backgrounds, very diverse. And uh, there's a lot of uh, yang energy, a lot of political energy. So we want to get some native wisdom down here, some experience in surviving the uh, oppression since Columbus and his people came over here uh, to help and infuse this gathering with wisdom, experience, and ceremony. Um, yeah, uh, uh, this is a group of young people, a lot of energy, uh, uh, 30s, 40s. So what we're doing is trying to connect some of us old fogies uh, who marched from Montgomery to Selma in the civil rights movement, in uh, the anti-Vietnam War protest, and kind of hook up with these young people and just bridge the generations from a spiritual and ceremonial and, and, and heartfelt point of view. Okay, hi, my name is Jana King. Uh, I'm from the Lumbee tribe. Right now I work at Native American Health Center and also at the Board of Directors of Intertribal Friendship House. And I think it's real important to have a Native presence here at Oakland Occupied because what everybody's asking for is something that happened to Native Americans a long time ago. Our identities were stripped from us, our human um, ways, our, our culture, which is very humanistic, was stripped from us. And so I think what everybody is asking for is, is a return to those human ways of uh, sharing resources, uh, being good to each other, having society that supports the development of children and the rights of all people. These are things that Native culture 
had embedded in the culture uh, for a long time before it was uh, dismantled and made illegal. So I see what everybody here at Oakland uh, occupied is trying to strive for is the same thing that we're trying to strive for and what we're suffering from a lack of our uh, lack uh, lack of our uh, having a native identity based on these humanistic values is what everybody else is uh, also trying to advocate for we want to return to being good human beings we want to return to having a culture that um, that is for the people and not for the one percent uh, we so we want to return to um, to a culture where everybody is celebrated and everybody is valued. So I feel like what Native Americans are trying to strive for is the same thing what people at Oakland Unify, um, Oakland uh, Occupied is trying to strive for. And the, th the, su the loss that we're trying to bring attention to is the same loss that they're trying to bring attention to. We don't want 1% controlling and managing and corralling our lives. And the general public here doesn't want the 1% controlling and managing and corralling their lives. I am Yaki. And the reason I'm here is, one, there's nothing to occupy. Uh, the U.S. has been occupied since 1492. So I think it's important that we remind people that we've been occupied long enough. So it's time to, um, as part of the, the decolonization, is to think beyond occupy and think beyond, you know, taking over anything because when you take over anything, you contributing toward capitalism and it's not we know and it's, it's perpetuating the whole thing about capitalism so there's nothing to occupy so the reason that I am here is just kind of remind people that one as Native Americans we're still here as two-spirit people we're still here we have a voice and it's just a reminder that you are on Indian land we're not going away we haven't been exterminated yet and we have a voice. Um, I'm Pauline Patty Medina, Muscogee Creek Seminole. It's important for me because I'm representing not only the community, the Native American community, but also the next generation to come, which will be my children, my grandchildren, and my grandchildren's children. And I want to make sure that, you know, that they know that soon I'll be an elder. And soon I will be able to say, hey, I was a part of that movement. You know, we help together as a community make that change. And I, I just want things to change, you know, like the education. I wouldn't say poverty so much, but the way the living situations are, um, the way the government always asks for way too much, and then we get way too little. And I think it's important, um, for one thing, is to like get free medical care and stuff for the children. You know, it's always like, they want something, but they don't want to give anything. So I'm just here to support for the next generation.